Okay, and question seven is the last question in the social influence section, and this is outline one alternative explanation for obedience. Okay, one alternative to the dispositional explanations which we had in question number six. Okay, you've got a lot of options here. You could talk about the agentic state. You could talk about legitimacy of authority. You could also talk about some of the situational variables like proximity, uniform, or location. The choice is yours. There is no correct way to go. It will just come down to what you feel you can write three marks about. Okay, so where do you feel like you're going to get most of your detail? If you feel like you're going to run out of things to say quite quickly, then maybe don't choose one of the shorter explanations, particularly because it's only asking for one. Okay, so I'm going to do the agentic state simply for that very reason that I feel like I can say quite a lot about it and I can fill three marks quite nicely. Okay, so here is my answer. So quite a straightforward structure. I'm going to start with what the agentic state is. So it's a psychological state that occurs in the presence of an authority figure. And then I'm going to go a little bit further and say when you're in that state, individuals experience diminished responsibility for their own actions because they see themselves as acting on behalf of an authority figure. And then my third bit of information for the third mark is going to be the fact that it contrasts with the autonomous state, which is where the individual feels like they are able to act according to their own values and morals. Okay, there is, of course, loads of information that you could have included here that I didn't include. Um, you, you know, you could have talked about binding factors, you could have talked about the fact that people still feel guilt, even though they're in the agentic state and they push the responsibility to the authority figure. There's all kinds of stuff that could have been included. It's only a three marker, so you have to cut it down to the things that are essential. Okay, and for me, that was a quick definition of what it is with two extra bits of information, i.e. the diminished responsibility and why, and then the opposite of the agentic state being the autonomous state. Okay. That was the end of social influence. We're now going to move on to the memory section.